When two forces act in the same direction, the resultant force will be in the same direction. So two people pushing the same box is an example of forces acting in the same direction. The resultant force is to the right, which is the same direction as the individual forces. Its magnitude is the sum of the two individual magnitudes. So the size of the resultant force is the sum of the individual forces. So that is Fa plus Fb. Let's have a look at another example. The diagram to the right shows a ball being simultaneously pushed by a 5 newton force and pulled by a 3 newton force. Find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force acting on the ball. So for step 1, we want to determine the direction of the resultant force. So as we can see in the diagram, both forces act to the right. So the resultant force also acts to the right. For step two, let's add the magnitudes to find the magnitude of the resultant. That is five newtons plus three newtons equals eight newtons. But what would happen if the forces were in opposite directions? When two forces act in opposite directions, the resultant force will be in the direction of the stronger force. So if there are two people pushing the same box in opposite directions, then this is an example of forces acting in opposite directions. The resultant force in this case is to the right, which is the same direction as the larger force, shown here by the longer arrow. Its magnitude is the difference between the two individual magnitudes. So the size of the resultant force is the difference between the individual forces. So that is Fa minus Fb. If the forces are the same, the resultant force is zero, so there's no motion and the box doesn't move. At GCSE, you won't be expected to find the resultant force if it's not in the same direction as one of the given forces. Let's have a look at another example. A parachutist experiences a 650 Newton downward gravitational force and an 800 Newton upward force due to air resistance. Find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force on the parachutist. So for step one, let's determine the direction of the resultant force. So the upward force is stronger. So the resultant force is upward. And this slows the parachutist down rather than make them move upwards. For step two, let's subtract the magnitudes to find the magnitude of the resultant. That is 800 newtons minus 650 newtons gives us 150 newtons as a resultant force. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!